Hey there gamers, Edgesailor here and this is the fifth episode? I've got to start remembering these. Fourth or fifth, maybe. Yeah, it's the fifth because the last one was the DIY UFO which is actually just here. But anyway, we are back and I've corrected the mistake that I did last time. I stupidly forgot the empty gas can to fill up our little snowmobile or snow snowmobile snow bike one of the two anyway regardless i went back and got it it was creepy as hell but i did it so anyway on this episode we're going to go and find some of those ufo or crash land areas that have been highlighted on the man that lived his map so without further ado let's begin the episode So, we have the gas can now. We have filled this up. Now let's go and fill our little baby up. Oh, we still haven't got the keys. Or the spark plug. Could it, so we've got the gas can now. So we've still got to search around here. To get... That must be the garage where it's held. Now where would the spark, where would he hide a spark plug? It's bloody cold out here, you'd sit out and drink beer, would you? Well, I probably would, but any place is good to drink beer. Let's have a look back at the cars, let's have a look under, can we have a look under the bonnet? Ooh. Well, this truck's not going anywhere. Where were the amputated parts? Carl grinned as he pictured a Frankenstein-esque car lying around somewhere made of parts from a dozen different vehicles. Obviously not. It's not going anywhere. So we had a look in the, the trunk of this car. Let's have another. Did we miss anything? A couple bottles of beer. Oh, what's it? Uh, it's an empty bottle. We don't need empty bottles. Can we actually get in? What good was a motorless car? The mechanic sure had an odd way to go about repairing things. So, we only have one place left to look. We have to get in that bucket that is in this, in the actual garage. But I'm not sure how because it's hooked on there. There's a hole in the roof. There's something that didn't seem obvious to me right before, but it does to me now. Nice cario. They say it's supposed to soothe the soul, but with this powerful gale that seemingly never sleeps, it was far more likely to get on anyone's nerves. Now, I saw this before, and I didn't quite twig it. But... We had to build a bridge across here. Now, I didn't. I, I, I had to go to the official Reddit page to get that out because I wouldn't have figured that out at all. Carl had no idea how to interpret a message like that. On the surface, it seemed like he had one half too many of this puzzle. Enough to know he shouldn't take this testimony as gospel. The entire thing being some punishment for a murder committed by Hamilton seemed like an outlandish theory. Carl was doubtful. I saw something in the woods on the solemn day of October 6, 1970. A man, no man should ever see. The aliens are here. They are roaming in our woods. They will never invade us all. From down in sunny Mexico, they are massive. Twice as tall as a man. Twi they are half man, half caribou, half wolf. I'm sure, in fact, I've seen them means they broke their military code. That just sounds like Wendigos to me, mate. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be trying to fight them. So did we get the keys out or what? But yeah, I would never have figured that out. Not in a million years.
So did we get the keys? Or the... No keys. Right, okay, I think I have found... Right, it's not exactly where I would call... It's off the beaten track and we're going to have to do some running, I think. Flashlight out. Actually, it's... Uh... Take out the rifle, actually. So we need to go in this direction, I believe. Just the other way. Right, just over here. Carl still wasn't done with the mechanics place. No, we're not, but uh, we can't. We can't find what we're looking for. Then we need to uh, look somewhere else. Oh, what's going on here? Carl never thought he would be dancing with the wolves. Lucky I found that. Now I presume we should... Ah, yeah, here we go. We'll keep that picture. And I bet you, uh, yes, I have it. Apparently, we need the crowbar to get through here. And the only reason I'm doing it like this. A fire can't be started with a snap of the fingers. See, for me, I would have probably thought that. That. If you were going to find keys and stuff, then uh, they should be where you find every bit else for every part else for the snowmobile. And like, try and cross over that damn roof. It's like, who would have thought about that cross large antenna in the middle of the path? Undoubtedly ideal in attempting to communicate with little green men was quite awkwardly placed. There had to be a lever to control it, maybe behind it. Carl would have to figure out how to reach it. Well, there was a path over here, so we'll have a little look. I mean, let me know in the comments if you actually think that was, um, you know, quite easy to work out that we needed to climb on the roof to, uh, You know, get on the roof to make a bridge across to get down and get a piece of paper out of the bucket. Now, I knew that we had to get on the roof, but making a bridge over from the main house to the garage doesn't exactly fall into my idea. What was... Of how things should be. The electric terminals appeared to be linked together, but for what purpose? No, I probably wouldn't have worked that out either, unless there was a clue. Open sesame. So that's where the generator key was hiding. All that was left was to use it. At last, 
so big an effort for an oh so tiny piece of metal. Right, okay, he actually took the keys. Ah, yeah, so we have actually took the key, even though the key is literally still there. Let's have a look for a second. Right, okay. Not too bad. Let's have a quick, uh, a quick look up here. See what we find. There's n ooh. I'm not riding a bike in this weather. God. Uh, it's a walkway to something. Ooh, that's that big hole. I want to know what's over there. Right, okay, so we can't go that way. We still need to find the spark plug. We have it all now, now we've got to hoof it all the way back, so I'll see you when we get back there. Right, okay. I remember where I saw it now. What an idiot I am. Leaving the gas can behind. Not really. I'm going to have to put some stuff in here, aren't I? Let's keep, put the key beer out. And the spark plug is right here. Now we have the spark plug. We have everything we need for the snowmobile. Right, so we need to find out whereabouts we're going. Does our map actually have those etched on there? Carl deducted this was a map of the area. Were those pins pointing to places of interest? That's the cave we just checked. Is that the cave we just checked out? I think it was. Let me just check. Pull up our map. Yeah. That was a place of interest. The cave's a place of interest. So we need to go all the way back to, to the general store, turn left, and then we need to go down that way. So let's get on our snowmobile. The mechanic was still frozen, and Carl had everything he needed, so he felt ready to leave. Still a bit creepy driving around on this.
So if anything important happens, I'll let you know. If not, we'll just arrive where we need to be. And we're back at the frozen room woman for some reason. And I've worked out something else. We can't access our map while we're on the snowmobile. So we need to be going that way to reach the mine. So we need to go that way. Ooh. Let's get out of here. Leg it. Might have parked that a bit close. I think we might have parked that a little bit close. Can't actually see what I'm doing. Someone's been smoking around here. Uh, that's a good point. We should actually feed his habit. Back to the old rifle. So that was it. We went in there just for start a fire. So that was it. just have one more check in there to see if there is anywhere we can go so someone's been smoking in here there's a campfire Right, unfortunately, I know this has been a bit of a weird episode, me not being able to work out these puzzles, but who would have thought you had to climb on to get on the roof and then build a bridge across? I know we had to do it in the mine, build a bridge, but this is, that wasn't just, that wasn't obvious, that was like, that was like a boxer in a fight where they, they they go they go to punch you and they end up punching the corner post instead. It was a complete misdirection that I would have I would have never thought of. But yeah, write it write it in the comments if you think you would have thought of that. Then please write it in the comments and that's not a problem. Uh, so we have got the snowmobile now and which we've been driving around like a lunatic. Well, I have because it's so boring and slow that it would use up the entire episode to try and do anything. So we will continue this mystery in the next episode. And I will see you, all you lovely gamers, then.